Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch here in sunny South Africa. My name is Gustav Miller and this is Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 85. For today I have got the Glendronach 15 year old revival. Our whiskey for today, the first in a short series that I'm going to do on Glendronach whiskies. I've already reviewed the 12 year old a while ago and in this series I am going to review the 15 year old and the peated and then the 16 year old platinum and then a very interesting private barrel 20 year old Glendronach whiskey. I'm very excited about this one of my favorite distilleries the Glendronach distillery situated in the north eastern corner, northeastern highland of Scotland. This is my Scotland map just to the east of Speyside. That is where the Glendronach distillery is situated. Founded in 1826 by James Allardyce and um, owned currently by Brown Foreman who also owns the Jack Daniels brand. This particular whiskey, the 15 year old revival after the Glendronach distillery was closed for a few years, it reopened early in 2000, 2004, I'm not sure exactly. And um, in 2009, it reopened under new ownership. And uh, then in 2009, this whiskey was launched in remembrance of the sort of rebirth of the Glendronach distillery at the moment currently temporarily discontinued because of a, a a lack of mature spirit but apparently it's going to be relaunched in a year or so so we look forward to that matured exclusively in spanish oloroso sherry casks and you can see the very dark color there and that's how i got to know the glendronach distillery with its exclusively matured whiskey exclusively matured in sherry casks you can see the the dark color deep gold with a mahogany heart that is how Glendronach describes this whiskey's color bottled at 46 percent slightly higher than normal non-chill filtered and no coloring added so it's the best that you can get all of the boxes ticked now it's got a bit of information on the box let's just see what it says here and how it describes this whiskey the Glendronach distillery on the nose incredible concentration of aromas trickle coffee uh, toffee and chocolate orange nutty notes and vanilla on the palate a very dynamic and full-bodied drum chewy with coffee chocolate and trickle scones and then finish a, a veritable feast to enliven the senses. I visited this distillery with my son a while back and uh, what a treat it was. That's a photograph that I took from the visiting center of the Glendronach distillery and on the way there we saw one of those beautiful Scottish cows and uh, that photo is supposed to be all about the the cow. Anyway, on the nose, trickle toffee, chocolate orange and nuts. I agree with what the packaging says, but there's also a slight hint of of smokiness, probably from the toasting of the inside of the cask, and of course the sherry and the brown sugar and a slight note of coffee it's just wonderful sweet malt complex nose and the dark chocolate it's just a feast of a nose you can see the legs there on the glass mm.
46%, you can sense that it's higher than normal. And it is definitely full bodied, I must agree. There is a chewiness, there's a slight coffee note, and the chocolate raisins, but also added to what the description there says. For me personally, I'm also getting a spiciness. I would describe it as very rich. There's a multi note on the palate, and then there's dried fruit, mm, raisins, brown sugar that I sensed on the nose, also on the palate, and then dates. A wonderful dark date note, fruit cake notes, baking spices. There's just a lot going on there. It's complex. Roasted nuts. Mm. Oh boy, this is very good. It's got a long finish. It just lingers. The dried fruit, the plums, the... There's a slight hint of sulfur from the sherry casks, but almost not noticeable. And then the oak spices. Let's add a few drops of water. One can easily do that with 46% ABV. I can actually add a bit more, but let's stop with those four or five drops and the oiliness as you add the water on the glass. Soft sherry and now there's like a grape candy that seems to appear with a few drops of water. And it just makes it smoother. A little bit of a dryishness on the end. Astringency effect from the oak wood tannins. Mm, wonderful. If I have to summarize what I'm experiencing here with the Glendronach 15 year old revival, sherried fruit cake with baking spices. That is how I would summarize this whiskey in a few in a few words. And I can just say this is another one of Glendronach's jewels. And I hope that they will relaunch this very, very soon. The price is around a hundred dollars in the US if you can find it and um, 100 pounds and a thousand five hundred rand here in South Africa. If you want to pair this whiskey with a food snack then I would recommend something like uh, this is a chocolate that I found locally. It is a crystallized plum in dark chocolate or you can try something like a date bar dusted with coconut date and biscuits or something in there. That could work very well. Or milk chocolate covered raisins, those small balls of chocolate. Any dark chocolate can work very well. And of course, fruit cake or nutty shortbread. Those are all of the time types of uh, food snacks that will connect with the right uh, notes in the flavor profile of this whiskey. For today, I have chosen Maybe it'll be a surprise to you, but I've chosen a mild curry and rice. And here is the secret, a little bit of fruit chutney that I've mixed in. So just a simple curry and rice and the fruit chutney. You see the fruit chutney notes, uh, sweetness and fruitiness will connect with the sweetness and, and, and dark fruitiness of the whiskey. But you need a little bit of a bolder snack and that's why I'm going for a curry and rice. So let's see how this works today. Mm. Very good curry and rice. Oh man, what an excellent pairing. Just an excellent pairing. I can just imagine inviting friends, having some mild curry and rice with the fruit chutney, 
and enjoying Glendronach 15 year old revival. Thank you for watching and uh, looking forward to see you again tomorrow for the next Glendronach that I'm going to review. Slanchet.